Thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. You know, Idaho is the potato state, and our friends at 101.9 The Bull have married this famous tuber with an opportunity to help our state's veterans and military families. It's called the Idaho Potato Gleaning. So we have with us Brenda from 101.9 The Bull to tell us more, along with Wendy Joe. And Wendy, you are with Operation Grateful Hearts. This is an organization that's going to benefit from this great event coming up. But first, let's learn about this event so we can all make plans to come out and attend. So Brenda, tell us about the potato gleaning what is it and why does the bull decide to help with this event and support it well about 15 years ago um, I by the way I'm a uh, descendant of many farmers and when uh, in the fall walking go, driving around the Treasure Valley and seeing all of the harvest being done and mm -hmm. people out gleaning about 15 years ago I thought you know what I wonder what that's like I wonder how you go about doing that so my husband and I approached a farmer and we went out and we gleaned as a family and oh. we were talking about how fun it was and the kids enjoyed it because it was almost like hunting for Easter eggs, but we were getting potatoes that they could take home and help scrub up and bake, and they really got to learn the whole process. And while we were doing that, we thought, wow, this could really help out some budgets. And the farmers don't mind because, you know, the equipment's already rolled across and loosened everything up. Mm -hmm. So we thought there's got to be a way to turn this into something that we could make money on. And so that's when we started doing our annual potato gleaning. And we wanted to choose uh, charity that uh, will really benefit from it, which is why we've partnered with Operation Grateful Hearts, because it's 100% volunteer driven, mm -hmm. and all of the money stays in Idaho to help out the veterans and the military families. All right, and so when people come out to glean potatoes, they're going to be picking potatoes, obviously, for their own harvest to fill their plates at home, but how are they helping to raise money for the military families? Tell us about that part. Okay, now Saturday, it's really fun. At 8 o'clock is when we open up the field for folks to come out, and we have gotten permission from the farmer. We're okay, not going to release... <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to release the details of where the field is. We don't want any claim jumpers. We don't want any okay. folks out there early. So Saturday morning for, at 8 o'clock, it'll be in the Wilder area. We're going to release all the details Friday morning, and people can folks... Uh, uh, people can folks. Folks can text the word field to 68719 on Friday and Saturday to find out the map and the directions to get there. Got it. But on Saturday, just come out and you don't even have to work that hard because the machinery has already gone through and loosened up everything. Mm -hmm. So you can bring out just hand tools like from the garden mm -hmm. or shovels if you want and boxes and bags and things to take your uh, potatoes home in and enjoy farm fresh potatoes. And everyone from all ages uh, in the family will enjoy it. Uh, we get teenagers that come out kind of glum and not yeah. sure they want to be there and by the end of the day they're asking if they can stay and help and volunteer for the cute. day. Cute. Cute. Yeah because they're having such a good time. Mm -hmm. Now is this free? Is there a cost? Well we ask for a ten dollar donation. Okay got it. And if a family is experiencing food crisis or, mm -hmm. or having trouble with money that's fine they can come out and glean as well but it's, we're just asking a ten dollar donation more of course if you would yeah. like to donate more. We'll have um, vendors out there, we'll have food trucks, and lots oh. of raffle items. Coors has really been awesome at bringing through some great items for us to raffle off, including an ice fishing tent, we have a oh, smoker, wow. and a really cool backpack tackle box so, thing. So it's it's kind of a, a party, if you will. It a turns bit of a into a party. Potato festival, if you will, of sorts, mm -hmm. this potato gleaning. Okay, but those donations, those proceeds are really encouraged because 100% of those proceeds go towards this incredible cause, which is Operation Grateful Hearts. Now, Wendy, Joe, tell us a bit about this organization. How does it support Idaho's military families and veterans? Well, Operation Grateful Hearts is, a, again, a 100% volunteer organization, and we get referrals from the VA, Gowan Field Mountain Home, the counseling centers, crisis centers, mm -hmm. when people need some help and we go above and beyond where government benefits end. So we make sure they have the essentials. Mm -hmm. They have warm clothes, they have food, they have fuel, they have heat. Um, they have repairs on their home. Mm -hmm. um, they have repairs on cars if it's a single family or single parent, you know, that needs to get to work. Mm -hmm. And we just make sure that they're healthy and happy and it's our way of thanking them. So you check the boxes across the board, regardless of whatever it is that they need, you lean in and you help, like you said, where those benefits stop. So that obviously requires some funding. So that's why it's really important that not only do we get involved and take advantage of this great opportunity to have some fresh, locally grown potatoes, uh, but also for a very minimal cost, $10 or more if you can donate. Brenda, where do people go so they can participate and learn more about the potato gleaning? Uh, give us that website really quick. 
you can go to boisebowl.com. You can also go to our Facebook page at 101.9 The Bowl and also operationgratefulhearts.us. Wonderful. And I imagine, too, that's where people can go to learn about your services if they also need some support or if they want to lean in in another way as well, right? Yes, and we're always looking for volunteers to come out and help us with our Christmas program. So oh. th there's that opportunity as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Wendy Joe, for all you do. Like you said, 100% volunteer. Greatly appreciate how you're helping those here in our community. And Brenda, looking forward to such a great event this year. Thank you. All right, everyone, stick around. We have a lot more to come right